in this country, when most people hear the word soul, they, they think about uh, black folk. It's almost synonymous with like, you've got soul, then you must have a little, you know, hipness to you. Soul's kind of complex. Soul is really essence of, of African American folk culture. And it really comes from African influences, religious influences, the experience of going through difficulties and surviving those difficulties with dignity. My relationship with Soul Food has to be one of those marriages that you just don't divorce from and that don't break up. People would say, you know, put a little more grease in it, give it a little more soul. The word, she was a good word, soul. She'll call it death food, because it will kill you. This is the first generation that is not expected to live longer than their parents. Between my house and 125th Street, and that's a four block walk, I could get fried chicken from almost a dozen different places, but I can't get a salad. We have a surgeon general warnings on cigarettes. We have uh, mandatory minimum ages for when you can drink alcohol. We make all sorts of decisions about people's health because it's in their best interest. And the reality is more people are hurting themselves from fried chicken than marijuana. More people are hurting themselves from high cholesterol than alcohol. Tell me what you got inside the junk pile. Nick Lowe, Tony Nick, Big Hey, how are you? Everything ain't good for you in here. It was good to you, though. The most important thing is that people complicate their understanding of what soul food is because it's easy to say that it's the bane of African-American health. 